Hey guys, and happy Sunday! As you know, we spent the last few months cruising around the Grenadines and then headed down to Grenada to hide out for the rest of the hurricane season. The hurricanes have now cleared and it's finally safe for us to start moving north again as we make our way across to the Bahamas for the rest of the season. Along the way, we will be making a few pit stops, one stop in particular in Martinique where Poppy's new family is dying to meet her. You may have a home for Missy Poppy girl. Me, Oliver, it'll just be you left. See you later, sweet cheeks. Have fun, make good choices, and don't talk to strangers. Hey. <laughs> no, don't I got Taylor protecting me. <laughs> See you in a bit. We had checked out of Grenada the night before, and this morning we picked up anchor along with our friends on Gypsy Moon and Amelia and sailed across to Union Island. So, first on the agenda this morning is check in. I was still feeling pretty crap at this point, so I left it up to Ryan along with Taylor to head across town and check in for us. Oh, look at the crab! Yeah, that's cool, eh? All right, we're all done. That is the customs immigration office. Oh, wait, we need coffee. Can I please grab oh, some coffee? Yeah. So, uh, all right, we're gonna go get some coffee. But uh, I'm not gonna lie, this place is absolutely beautiful because last time I came, it was the off season and it was really run down. It's so colorful. Thank you. No problem. All right, we'll see you over there. Ciao for now. Brittany, we're all checked in. It was so funny. The customs guy, where are you? Oh, the customs guy, Brittany, was listening to like gangster hip hop and it was like bobbing his head as he's doing the paperwork. And he's just like, all right, enjoy mine. <laughs> so much different to like when you fly into the US or something. Union is a small island south of the Grenadines and it's absolutely beautiful. We're anchored here at Frigate Island, which is a really famous kite surfing spot. Due to the fact that it's perfectly protected from the swell, but still gets consistent winds from the Atlantic. Here you can tie up to some mooring balls for free, which is pretty awesome. However, we do always dive on our mooring block and I'm gonna show you exactly why in a sec. You can hear me, the Sunday's about to float away with this mooring chain attack. Guys, this is a perfect example of why you should never trust a mooring block unless you've dove on it. We were shocked when we dove down to see that that pin was hanging on for dear life in the shackle and at any moment could have dropped out and we would have been drifting away. Now don't get me wrong, sometimes it's really nice to be on a mooring ball, but more often than not, we hear of people having a lot of problems. Dragging mooring blocks, snapping lines, chafing through rope, it's endless. Our speed anchor has never let us down and we trust it with our lives, literally. This is why very rarely you'll see us on a mooring ball. Once we were comfortable and we knew that our home wasn't gonna float away on us, it was time to have some fun with our buddy boats. We decided to head out with our buddy boats for some dinner and drinks to a bar that had been built on a man-made island out of conch shells. Little did we know that our casual night out was going to turn into an engagement celebration for Kiki and Taylor. We're going streaking! How are you guys going? Any sharks? Any sea snakes? Good morning, guys. I would like to say that I feel fantastic. How do you feel? Well, we've basically been out of commission for the past 24 hours. So we've had a lot of fun this last week, but we've been basically all three boats out of commission and complete hermits for the past 24, 36 hours. All right, we're gonna go say bye to Amelia because they're gonna head back down to Grenada and we're gonna continue up to Tobago Keys. So we'll say bye to them. Hey, how are you going? Rhoda, Kermit. Get dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, sorry, Kermit. <laughs> Michelle's getting up. If she's not awake, she's awake now. The dog's barking. This is a 60 foot privilege. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were up there. <laughs> Catamaran. And we. The front of their boat. Holy crap, this thing is massive. So, we've had a lot of fun here the last few days. Hey! Good morning, Michelle! Hello! Hello. Hey, Amelia. Uh, the coffee mate. So this oh, is what you that, oh, that's, that's you pretty close. <laughs> so how would you call a coffee? Uh -huh. I didn't even try it. No. Him. This is why we need women in our lives. <laughs> yeah, right. Otherwise it's diet cola. I didn't do that for you. <laughs> so Taylor's getting FOMO over there. What's up? Not much. Had to see what was going on over here at the life of the party. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're getting the party started already. 8 a.m. <laughs> We spent the morning hanging out on Amelia, and before we knew it, it was time to say goodbye. So much. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Thank you so much for all the help that you gave me. Come here, goodbye. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Of course, you guys are. After we say goodbye to Amelia, we took the pups on their very first beach run, which was pretty friggin' cute. Alright, so now we're gonna drop our line off this mooring bowl and head around the corner. Taking both off already. So we're off our mooring bowl. It's time to go to Tobago Keys. guys, Tobago Key. So we managed to talk these guys into seeing some turtles, with the exception of Taylor. I gotta work. Someone's gotta pay the bills around here. Someone's gotta pay the bills. Someone, yeah. Jackson. Oh boom. wow, this is good, bud. Is it? Look at you, a little Just mixologist. Hey, eh? boom. <laughs> Look, Taylor didn't come for a swim, not because she's a party pooper, because she squashed her thumb in the door. You have to watch her on YouTube to see what happened to that there. But she's on her way. The sundown is, hey. And meanwhile, we got Kaz here with Boone. Yeah, Jackson's getting jealous. Hi, Jackson. All right, Taylor's here, everybody. <laughs> Cheers, there you Cheers. go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cheers. We're at Tobago Keys, baby. Cheers. And we're trying to talk these guys into getting a puppy. Oh, it's so hard to say no. <laughs> this is like, screw you, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Can I say <laughs> you, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do that. Yeah, do it. <laughs> you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Tobago Keys. Yeah. Just kidding, it's rainy and miserable. It's still beautiful here, but it's definitely not ideal weather for adventures. We were gonna go have a bit of an adventure day today, but the weather's really just not holding out for us. And Ryan and I have to make some moves up to Martinique to get the puppies sorted into their new home. So <clears throat> we thought the weather's not great today. We might as well turn it into a travel day. So we're going to go quickly say goodbye to Taylor, Kiki and Cass. Say yeah, goodbye. Just and then we're going to go on our merry way. Yeah. To Beckway, I think. We'll see if we make it that far. We'll see because it's storm, storm, storm. So we'll just see how we go. It's not going to be that bad. So we'll just try an island hop and just see how far we get today. And uh, really for us, it's fine. It's just for Jackson and the puppies. So we'll just see how we go. We'll try and get the Beckway, check out and uh, pick our weather window to whip up to Martinique. Let's do it. All right, let's go.
is a big swell. Oh no. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome way to support our channel and it doesn't cost you a thing. Anyways, we'll see you next week in Beckway. It's getting big out here now. Alright. Hey, what's up Taylor? Yo, yo, ready to check into this beautiful place? Yeah, yeah, we are. Jackson's ready too. Brittany, where are you? Brett was gonna go up high. Oh, I'll go up oh, high. Oh shit, Brittany's we going can, up we can high. Up. Oh, Brittany, you're up there. What the hell are you doing? So we actually took this cushion. Taylor took this cushion to just uh, repair a small scratch. No, rip. And they gave it to us to give back to Amelia. But the problem was when we got it on our boat, it literally took up our whole, our whole boat, didn't it? So Brittany's Thank not feeling you. well, so I'm just gonna film me with her thumbs up. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell <laughs> off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>